welcome to this long play of the memory shmup 1917 the alien invasion a sebastian de andrade game my aim for this long play is to beat the entire thing in one sitting dying fewer times than 25 but if that fails then fewer than 50 times i will be doing it using the default play there are several and some of them can also be unlocked by beating the game in different variations and forms and i hope that you will be enjoying this and if you are why not hit those like and subscribe buttons but enough of the banter let's get down to shooting some pesky aliens Stage 1, Verdun 1917. The endless swarms attacked from the sky. We could not compete with their weapons and technology. Only one woman has the courage for a final stand. Dr. Brunhild Stahlmiller attacks the alien forces with her Raumdecker red diesel bug. <laughs> Stage 2. Defender of France. The advanced airplane Red Dieselbub combines human and alien technology. As such, it can take the battle even into the darkness of space. Stahlmüller developed it with her assistant Hartmuth Griesgram in a private laboratory. Come on, me. Stage 3. 
Cruel Space. Brunhild leaves the blood-soaked earth behind and heads into the cosmos. Her tears are shed in mourning of the innocent who burned and died. This war must be brought to an end. She plans to attack their foreboding home planet and wipe out their misbegotten race. Shield. Come unleash. Stage 4, Blood Sphere. The aliens are expanding to new stars yet untouched by their blight. They recreate the human race in their own perverted vision and bind our DNA to their spirits. In their arrogance, they deem themselves masters of evolution and gods in their own right, but they will know regret and the taste of their mortality soon. Stage 4, Blood Sphere. Stage 5, Alien World. Stahlmiller finally arrives at the vile green homeworld of her foe. In the distance she hears the commands of a huge giantless bellowing at her subject. It is the Empress of the Stars with steel resolve 
Brunhild is determined to bring about a violent and painful end to this demented sovereign. Stage 6 Insane Mind Round the shore, the blaring of ceaseless armor piercing fire, the alien scream of a cosmic empress in her dying throes, the last thing that went through the All Mother's head during her defeat at the hands of brave Dr. Stahlmiller were two dozen large anti aircraft rounds. With their bloated monarch slain, the alien forces fell into disarray. Their mental network collapsed. On Earth, the war seemed all but one, but for the interstellar Valkyrie, war was just beginning. The Empress was an enormously powerful psychic being with a brain full of madness. So vivid were her ambitions that when she died, her thoughts burst forth from a tattered flesh in a shockwave that altered reality itself. The unsettling homeworld of the defeated aliens became enveloped in nightmares made reality. The dying curse of a destroyed goddess. Stahlmiller finds herself at the epicenter of this phantasmagoria, pure evil made manifest. A million wicked eyes leering at her, closing in. Only one way out. Pirate will!
Stage 7, Star Palace. Trust not the liar's promise. Trust not the hypocrite's forgiveness. Trust not the blind man's vision. Long before their invasion began, the aliens used religion to control and prepare mankind for annexation. Christ was no prophet, no son of any sane or benevolent god. No, he was an emissary, an ambassador, a slave to an alien race from beyond the cosmic wall that separates our world from the uncaring darkness of outer space. It becomes clear now that man cannot look for salvation in darkness, salvation in the dogmatic worship of transcendent beings and must search for deliverance within himself. Trust not the false god's creed. Trust only this, an iron will and a heart of steel. staged, agonized rebirth. What is dream and what is real? When all fancy becomes manifest, the line between the sane and the mad becomes blurry. Was there any escape at all from this living nightmare or had its writhing tendrils ensnared the rest of the galaxy already? Stahlmiller stopped counting her kills, stopped counting the days. Time was a milky blur of horror and violence. Perhaps this infinite purgatory was to be her prize for rescuing a race both undeserving and ungrateful. And yet, if there was any hope to return to the world she had come from and escape this dreadful dimension, then had to be tied to it. She had seen it in her dreams, or were they real? She had heard it calling from afar, or had she been asleep? She had felt its vile touch upon her flesh. 
in her darkest nightmares. It was out there somewhere. It was the black, beating heart of this reverie. It had to die. the game in under 25 deaths but with my 26 deaths that still meant that we hit that secondary goal of beating it in under 50 and that also gave us a nice little achievement but who knows in the future i might return and try again because i think i have it in me to beat this game in a lot fewer deaths but it is a memory map, so the more you play it the easier it should potentially get anyway this long play is over and I'll end it here on this pretty awesome looking screen. Thank you all for being part of my Let's Play long play of 1917 The Alien Invasion. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you did, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons and I hope to see you again in future videos. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.